Olli Rehn is the European Commissioner for Economic and Monetary Affairs, a key role in defining European strategy against the backdrop of the debt crisis. The latest proposal concerns the recapitalization of the banking sector. Dozens of banks would be forced to raise more than 200 billion euros, according to initial studies, although some say it needs to be much more. The European Bank Authority will complete an assessment next week. The President of the European Commission, José Manuel Barroso, presented the roadmap for the recapitalization of banks most exposed to the debt crisis. Don't you think that Europe has reacted too slow? Uh, given the fact that the International Monetary Fund has already given some warning since the end of August. The European Commission called for a comprehensive crisis response already in January this year in our annual growth survey. Um, in fact, uh, we started to work on this uh, already in the end of uh, last year. Then we were criticized uh, by, by some quarters uh, and uh, not, uh, not uh, all the elements of this uh, comprehensive response uh, have uh, so far materialized, uh, to say the least. But uh, I'm certain that uh, we now need uh, a comprehensive strategy to overcome the sovereign debt crisis uh, and banking sector uh, fragilities uh, in order to ensure sustainable growth and uh, employment in Europe. Can you give us an estimation how much money is needed for the recapitalization of banks and how many banks are in danger? I would not uh, want to dwell into exact uh, figures at this stage. Uh, we know that it is a significant uh, number and uh, we have proposed uh, a recapitalization plan in three steps. Uh, What's to pay for this recapitalization for, of the banks? In the first place, it really is uh, private investors uh, and uh, capital markets that we expect uh, banks uh, to seek for capital. If that's not possible, then uh, the member states uh, need to have uh, national arrangements uh, in place uh, for recapitalization and or restructuring of banks. Uh, and then uh, as the, the third line of defense, uh, uh, we see that uh, the European financial stability facility could be used uh, so that it could provide uh, loans to government, uh, governments. Uh. Do you think that the uh, new stress test for banks should include the scenario of a Greek default that was not the case up to now? We are not uh, assuming a Greek default. Uh, we see that uh, it is essential to find uh, and agree on a sustainable solution for Greece uh, which implies also a second program with uh, adequate financing from uh, the private sector and uh, from the official sector. The unemployment in Greece is rising, it's about 16% at the moment. The number of suicides is doubling, but the Troika say that given this deeper recession, probably new measures are likely to be needed to meet the targets for 2013. Uh, do you think that Greek, the Greeks can really face a new wave of austerity? We have uh, uh, created a commission task force uh, which works uh, closely together with uh, member state uh, experts uh, in order to assist, uh, provide, pro provide uh, technical assistance uh, for Greece uh, in order to better use uh, uh, the structural funds uh, for investment uh, and uh, growth enhancing purposes uh, and in order to uh, better uh, reform its uh, tax administration and uh, improve its uh, privatization. Uh, practices. Uh, when do you think Greece could be competitive again? Greece is actually in some parts of, of uh, the economy uh, regaining competitiveness. Uh, the export sector is showing some, although small signs of uh, improvement. Uh, it's essential that uh, the uh, adjustment uh, continues because uh, unfortunately Greece was uh, clearly living well beyond its uh, means uh, and uh, this needs to be corrected. Uh, for solving the debt crisis, the European financial stability facility is an important, very strategic role, but it seems to be not enough for, for, this, for this task. So we are talking now about leverage, we are talking about transforming this tool in a bank or an insurance company. What is the best option for you? We are not proposing a, an increase in guarantees, uh, but rather we are proposing that uh, we need to make, we need to make uh, more out of the existing resources uh, to make it more effective so that uh, we can effectively contain 
the contagion effect uh, that is going on in the financial and uh, sovereign bond markets uh, for the moment uh, in Europe. If you look at Italy or to some extent uh, Spain or, or Belgium, mm -hmm. we see that uh, the, contagion is, uh, the contagion effect is already in action. Mm -hmm. So that's why we need to find a sustainable solution for Greece, uh, because that is the source of uh, contagion, so to say. And uh, then uh, at the same time, uh, we have to reinforce the financial firewalls uh, of the sovereigns, uh, of the states, uh, and at the same time, we have to reinforce capital buffers in the banking system so that we can ensure that credit flows to households and enterprises in Europe. How disappointed are you in a way that anyway we are seeing a real slowdown in the Eurozone? You quoted first Spain and Italy, the, the growth is they are stuck in some way. So do, don't you think that there is a, new, there is a need to review this um, austerity plan anyway that Europe has put in place? I am disappointed that uh, this uh, market turbulence uh, has been led to intensify because we could have stopped, stopped it uh, by having a comprehensive strategy against the crisis uh, decided uh, already in the beginning of the year and then consistently implemented. If we have acted uh, ahead of the curve early on, we could have prevented uh, much of this uh, turbulence and uh, thus uh, protected uh, economic growth and uh, employment uh, much better than has been the case. Now we are unfortunately seeing that uh, the market turbulence uh, is having a heavy toll on, uh, on uh, economic uh, growth uh, and also employment. Uh, and uh, that's, the precise, that's precisely the reason why the first and foremost solution in this context is uh, to contain the sovereign debt crisis uh, by decisive action. So in a way you're saying that Europe was a bit slower than the markets, but that is now that you are talking about this new financial, European financial minister. What would be the task of these ministers in your, in your opinion? It is essential to reinforce uh, economic uh, governance uh, further. And uh, in this field, uh, I think uh, the most important thing is uh, how we can further improve uh, policy coordination in Europe uh, so that uh, we can complement uh, the existing strong monetary union with a true and uh, genuine economic uh, union. If you were offered the job, will you accept it? I'm not campaigning for this and uh, I, don't, I do not see any vacancy for the moment. Thank you.